There are many beautiful brushes at the paint spot. Here are tips for choosing one that's perfect for you. It's hard to judge a brush that's dry. Some brushes come with sizing that hold an artificial point, and natural hair brushes always look fluffy without a point. You've got to get them wet to try them. For synthetic brushes, I like to see capillary action, which is how the water is drawn up into the brush, much like a plant drinks water. Watch the four on the right as I slow down the film. Did you see it? It's still quick. Let me show you with three of my favorite synthetic brushes. Da Vinci Cosmotop Spin, Da Vinci Calineo, and the Holbein Gold. It was the middle brush that won. Watch again in real time. It almost gathers up the water instantly. Da Vinci Brush Company's new synthetic sable brush, the Calineo, definitely won the race. A natural hairbrush grabs water a different way. Watch the three brushes at the beginning. Do you see how they spread out? Like all their little fingers grab and hold the water. It's really quite remarkable. The first brush on the left is a Da Vinci Kalinsky Sable brush. Do you see it doesn't even drop water? It grabs all the water and holds it. The second brush is the Da Vinci Castaneo. The brush that came to the finest, longest point there is the Princeton Aqua Elite, and we'll give all these points a proper testing. A lot of engineering goes into making a brush. The Aqua Elite on the bottom has it like an artificial point. The brushes are all staggered to give it that fine point. The spring of a brush is how well it comes back to a point, especially once it starts losing some water. So you can see it has a natural fine point, but when it starts to dry out, the brush can remain slightly bent. Do you see how that first brush, the Aqua Elite, gets a little bit frizzy on the end? Those little points can't hold up. But the other two brushes, you just have to turn them a bit and you're right back to a fine line. First impressions are everything. Here's the Aqua Elite doing a nice fine line across the paper. But with so few hairs, the tip is kind of wibbly wobbly and it gets a dry brush look quickly. However, that broken line look has many uses, which I'll talk about shortly. Now let's look at that Colineo brush. It's a synthetic Kalinsky, and boy does it travel. This whole series of lines was done with one dip of the brush into a liquid watercolor, and it kept coming to a fine point. In fact, the fine point was easier to control as the brush got drier. It's always good to test brushes side by side doing the same thing. On Stonehenge 140 pound hot press paper, I'm doing spirals. This will tell me the spring, point, water holding, and paint capabilities of each brush. I started first with a Holbein Gold, which is a great performing synthetic brush. The Princeton Aqua Elite gave interesting marks, but it seemed to run out of paint quickly. And now for Da Vinci Brushes, Calineo. This is the new synthetic sable brush. Look at the deep dark color, the nice controlled lines. It seems to flow forever. In fact, I ran out of room. It's just now running out of paint. Compared to a real Kalinsky sable, even darker color, even more controlled lines. Look how that spring and point just goes on forever. In fact, I probably could have filled the whole page. It just keeps going, and that point remains. A Kalinsky Sable brush is just such a joy to paint with. All the little fine details, all the little lines, I just can't stop. So I had to think up more ways to test a brush to show you the differences. I have chosen seven brushes for a side-by-side -side comparison. The first up are two great performing pure synthetic brushes. While these brushes aren't great for filling a page, they are good for having a nice point with a good spring, and you'll see their flexibility and precision give you a lot of control. I love these brushes for working with gouache and inks. The filaments used to make a Da Vinci Cosmotop brush have many different diameters. Those different diameters of hair also come to a tapered point. So the brush will hold water and come to a point, and you can paint fine lines a pretty long time. The Holbein Gold is considered a gold sable, 
which is a bit of a misnomer because there's no sable hair in a gold sable brush. It is strictly synthetic, but it is a very good performing synthetic. It is often chosen for its affordability. The Cosmotop has a beautiful flexibility. It pops back to a fine point very quickly and you can push down hard, make it drop color, but it still holds on to a lot of color. Remember that capillary action we saw at the beginning? It definitely shows when you're doing this thick, thin line test. The Holbein Gold performs equally well, but you can see that it runs out of paint a little bit sooner. The Cosmotop comes in many, many different shapes. The Holbein Gold comes in round and flat. I evaluate precision with this little leaf drop shape. Can it go thick to thin? Spring, does it go where I want it to? Um, look at the line variety you can get with the Cosmotop. And again, it's fun to doodle with. I just keep going. With the Holbein Gold, I can make it work, but it's not as easy. It's not as fluid. Mm, still fun. Now that I have a control page, let's look at the higher quality brushes for comparison. Both the Colonial and the Aqua Elite are touted as the new synthetic sable. And they do cover a page a bit more. You can see they will fill the entire square. The Aqua Elite does an interesting dry brush at the end, which I think would be really useful for like water scenes or um, dry grasses, but the Colonio performed more predictably. And look at the fine detail you can get. Paints dark lines forever. Next to the Aqua Elite, remember it had the finest tip in the other testing, but again, it's, it's a wobbly tip. I find it a little bit difficult to control, and it doesn't give as fine line as you might expect. The Colonio I think had the proven flexibility of any Da Vinci brush. It performed as expected. I'm used to working with this kind of spring and point. Um, quite lovely. Didn't go the whole page. Next up was the Aqualite. The finer line was evident here and it did spring back well and it seemed to paint about as far as the Colonio. Precision is all about the brush working with you. Here's that lovely teardrop shape. So quick with the Colonio. Again, I feel very comfortable with that spring. The precision with the Aqua Elite is a bit unpredictable. That dry hair look, you never know when it's going to pop up. Up next are two brushes that are designed to hold water. The Da Vinci Casaneo is engineered to have the softness and fullness of a squirrel hair brush. I'm sorry I ran out of paper. I think it would have painted a lot bigger square than this. The Heinz Jordan Oasis is a synthetic hair with about 16% Kalinsky sable. Of course it painted a long ways. Here's the fine brush. Casaneo is not really a fine brush, but it does nice marks. And the Oasis has a beautiful spring. Beginners often choose this brush, both for its price point and its great sp spring. However, the Da Vinci Casaneo is uh, the winner in how it feels and flows and moves. And black hair, it's always a sexy choice. The Oasis has wonderful flexibility. And look at the fluid way it holds and drops color. Even a little bit of Kalinsky Sable does make a difference. During the precision exercise, you can see the Casaneo has more of a domed tip appearance. Great teardrop shape. Where the Oasis has a, a pointier tip and more of a pointy leaf shape. Brush control is the key to accomplished painting. And it's wonderful when our tools work with us. Have you ever wondered what's so great about a real Kalinsky hairbrush? Here we go. I chose a full sheet of paper because I knew this brush could cover it. The point is natural. The belly is full of paint. I can paint fine lines twice as far as with any other brush. 
The hair used for a maestro Kalinsky, the very best Kalinsky sable brushes, are taken only from the male, from the tip of the tail, on the winter coats, from the animals that live in the highest altitudes. So it is the longest, fullest hair possible. As our environment is constantly changing, these rare brushes may not be around forever. I think it's wise that we are finding synthetic alternatives. But still, nothing beats a Kalinsky sable. Don't underestimate the handle of a brush. Does it have a nice grip? Does it have a nice weight? Does it feel balanced in your hands? But there's a lot of engineering that goes into a brush that you can't see. Sometimes the strength of the brush is what's inside the ferrule, not what you see. Please come to the paint spot and test the brushes for yourself. These beautiful materials and more at paintspot.ca.